Yeah, he's come. I'm gonna wait till he come out. You say he's coming out. Okay. Yeah, so when he come out, then I'm gonna go in and back right in the first five. Good change, you got it. All right. What's going on, LOM community? Lockout men in the convention center. Yes, look at where I'm at right here. Just look. Just look. It's not hot. It's not hot at all. Yo, convention center waiting all day. Let me tell you my day to day. I got to just talk to you guys. I got to talk to you guys. I got something to say, man. Listen, listen. I got here. I got down here to Florida. Swish your house remix. I got down here to Florida about Sunday. I got here Sunday for Monday morning drop off. Now, I didn't have that many hours. I didn't have that many hours. Hours was 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 like was like bad right now. It was bad, real bad. So when I got down here, I knew that I was gonna be on limited hours. So I had like maybe I had like eight hours to drive on Monday. And like four hours to drive on Tuesday if I didn't do a 34. So me and my fleet manager, we was going back and forth. We was talking, we was like, yo, we can do this, we can do that, we can put this together and see what's up. I said, well, why don't we do this? I said, I would get maybe about 10 hours back. Uh, for Wednesday I won't be able to drive fully until Wednesday I will drive Monday if he would have got me something up out of here I said I'll drive Monday I'll take Tuesday off and I'll see what I, I'll see what I can do for Wednesday all right so Monday comes around we couldn't find nothing we, we couldn't we couldn't find nothing. a lot of freight a lot of freight for fruit and everything but not not so much as dry so we we were still chopping it up and we was like I, I say maybe around 12 o'clock i said if you don't get nothing by 12 or 1 o'clock then i know i'm not going nowhere all right cool 12 1 o'clock rolls around of course i'm not going nowhere so i'm still here on monday i am still down here down here in florida so i, I said all right since i'm sitting I won't use the 10 hours that I have to drive today. I'll use it for the next day. All right, no problem. Because after that, I would have 10 hours coming back for me for Wednesday, Thursday, so forth and so on. But unfortunately, yesterday, um, yesterday turned out turned out garbage too. We had a we had a few. We we actually had a couple of good uh, potentials, but 
they both didn't fall through. I was like, well, look, don't worry about it. I said, I might as well just go ahead and do my 34. Now, while I was down here, I got a chance to hop onto the poker table. which wasn't a good run. By far the worst poker room. I was getting killed with garbage versus premium hands. It wasn't nice. It, it just was plain awful. Uh, I was able to bounce from place to place. I went to grab me something to eat. Went to Applebee's. I went to some restaurants. I went to uh, a couple of malls. I made a stop. Made a couple of pickups. A couple of nice pickups. At a nice price. I'm a bargain shopper, you know that? But see, I'm here at Lids. Today I am just taking the day off and I am at the mall. I even hit the I even hit the ballpark down here and got this hat. Which is the Tur Daytona Targaras. I'm over here in Daytona. It was like, yo, man, you down in Daytona? I was like, yeah, bruh, down here in Daytona. It was like, yo, check, check out the, the minor league ballparks down in Daytona. I was like, what? And look what I found. The Daytona Chugras. I'm going to see if I can hit uh, Jacksonville on my way out of here. I don't know how that's going to work out, but anyway. So I enjoyed myself while I was down here. You know, I seen Daytona International Speedway. Got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Head is mad and black. Got the boots in the back. Got the horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. Where they had the Daytona 500, I've seen that. Went over to Best Buy, hung out over there, and I mean, I just had a nice, uh, a nice little time down here. I'm gonna say one thing about the poker room: do not play poker where I was parked at. Now, there's two things about that poker room over there. Number one, the parking. Excellent. Big gravel field. I was able to drop my trailer there. I was able to bobtail just about everywhere I needed to go to. Nobody bothered me. Nobody asked me to move. Nobody nut. Number two, the tables there is garbage. Garbage. The buy -in instructor, I mean, structure. Garbage. The players, garbage. The cars, garbage. I mean, I, I just, I, mm. but being down here, I already knew that coming down here to Florida, it's, it's easy to get down here. It is hard to get out. Um, I thought that we was, I, I almost thought that we could have like, like deadhead me up to like Georgia to grab a load, but my fleet manager was able to grab a load for me today and it's coming out of here out of this convention center so i've never been to a convention center before man and the back end in this in this place is like whoa but the guy when i backed up to my dot the guy was like yo that's about the best back end i've seen all day i was like man don't play with me don't play with me i am heading to illinois Yes, sir. I am heading to Illinois. I'm going back up into my old stopping ground. You know, I want to see if he can. You know what I'm going to do for the weekend? I, I think I'm going to have him to send me up to Minnesota. Maybe I can get the Canterbury. I'm going to put that request in tomorrow. But anyway, yo, guys, that's it. I'm glad y'all here to holler at you.
Yo, let me just move that out the way for a minute. Everything was going good. It was going good. It was going fine. And I tell y'all, I get up on the highway. I get down here. I'm just rolling. And all of a sudden, all of my lights just, just come on like, Like, wow, what the hell? First the check engine light, then the check engine light started blinking and tooling, and then all of a sudden the triangle exclamation light came on, beeping and beeping and beeping. I was like, man, let me hurry up and get up off this highway right quick. And I'm like, driving, right? So I get over here to the Flying J. Luckily it has a boss uh shop over here so i was like yo let me let me take it up in here see what's going on maybe it's a simple fix maybe they could tell me what's up i don't know i don't know so <clears throat> i pull up in there before i pull up in there i noticed that my steer tire right there that boy right there that boy was like chewed up like like the whole side of the back side of the tire is all chewed up and shit and i was like oh wait whoa hold up stop yeah i gotta get that change i never had a steer tire blowout and i'm not planning on having the steer tire blowout not fun not fun at all and i'm not trying to have one not doing those 60 70 miles an hour so it's a good thing that i caught that so i came over to the shop they brought it in, they changed the tire, and they came back and told me like, yo, ain't nothing we can do about the check engine lights and everything. I was like, yo, what's the matter with it? They was like, something with the emission, something, I don't know, man, I, I don't know. I'm not a diesel mechanic, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell y'all. I have to wait until tomorrow morning, get told, over to the international shop and go ahead and get repaired i guess messed up my whole week the beginning of the week the ending of the week just messed up at all messed up so here i sit broke down at the boss shop here at the flying j so i gotta wait until tomorrow Hopefully, it will work out. Hopefully, I can get back on the road. Hopefully, I can do all that tomorrow. Right now, what I'm about to do is go ahead and edit this video. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. You gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize that